what's going on guys in this video we are going to see a program that will get the matrix elements from the user and print it as matrix and then it will calculate the diagonal matrix total okay for example if it's 3 by 3 matrix the user is going to enter 9 values 9 numbers and it's going to print it as 3 by 3 matrix and it's going to add all the diagonal numbers and give the sum of that diagonal number okay now let's go ahead and do that here I am going to do examples of 3 by 3 matrix. So I introduce an array. This is going to be 2D array. So a 3, 3 by 3 matrix. And I introduce some variable for looping because whenever we do matrix, we have to do the nested for loop. So we introduce some variable for that. And also I since it's a 3 by 3 matrix, I initialize n with 3. And also I initialize sum with 0, okay. First we are going to get the input numbers from the user. To get the input from number from the user, we give a prompt to the user. So enter matrix elements, matrix, enter matrix elements, okay. The user is going to enter the values. And then to get the input from the user, because the whatever the value enter is going to be like uh, nine numbers, right? So we have to get the nine numbers from the user. To get the nine numbers, we have to use for loop or nested for loop in this case. Nested for loop. I initialize i with zero, and then i is less than n, and uh, i plus plus. I plus plus okay then another for loop this nested for loop in this nested for loop we initialize j with 0 and then we set the condition j is less than n and then we do the increment by 1 j plus plus okay now we are going to get all the nine inputs because 3 is for column 3 is for rows scan f and all the number the user enter is going to be a integer type of variable so we put percentage d for that and whatever the value the user enters should be stored in the array so to store in the array we put ampersand a i j okay now we got all the input from the user now we have to print the input as an as a matrix like if it's three by matrix we have to have three row three columns so to print it like that we have to use another nested for loop so i copy and paste it right here copy paste it right here and then instead of scanf we put printf printf statement <coughs> and then we don't need ampersand when we do the matrix uh, printing like uh, when we do the printf statement and uh, to have a gap between the numbers you can put slash t and put it like this okay <coughs> sorry now we have printed the numbers now finally we have to do the addition of um, addition of the diagonals diagonals is like when we have one one two two three three those are diagonals okay now let's go ahead and use a for, for loop for that in this for loop we are going to put a sum is equal to sum plus a i i i put i i because diagonal matrix are when we have like uh, if it's first row first column that's a diagonal second row second column that's a diagonal third row third column that's a diagonal so the numbers are going to be equal right that's why we put a i i right here and it's going to add, add the diagonals and print the sum sum okay to get the output of the sum to display the sum we are, we are going to use a printf statement in this printf statement we put backslash n <coughs> for the new line diagonal diagonal element sum and percentage d and then we have to get the sum from the sum okay that's it now this one should work let's go ahead and run this one
okay th there are some error let's see i'm missing some this uh, semicolon somewhere let's see where it is semicolon somewhere okay, let me double check error expected oh this one for loop inside the for loop i mean is missing a semicolon okay now that's it let's run this one again again i have another mistake here and uh, another mistake here okay now this one should work enter matrix elements i put some random numbers we had to put nine numbers so okay let's put seven let's six four three some numbers okay it doesn't matter what number is okay there there's some mistake here i had to put a new line because if i don't put a new line this doesn't go to the new line so i had to add a new line here i give a printf statement for that printf backslash n backslash n for new lines <coughs> okay now let's enter some random numbers eight okay now you can see it's printing as matrix and diagonals are this one this one is first one eight plus two that is ten ten plus one that is eleven so we are getting the correct diagonal sum okay and that's how we do this programming i hope this helps Thanks for watching and if you are trying to access these codes, it's in my blogger. I put the link of my blogger in the description so you can go ahead and access them. And also if you are trying to learn C or C++ programming, there are a bunch of videos in my playlist. I hope you guys watched that too and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.